you would have noticed some fresh faces here. Today marks the first steps towards joining the first team. Now, it can be a long road. Make them feel welcome, yeah? Nice. Substitution time, and this is his professional debut, Stuart. Well, what a moment this is. He'll be nervous, but he'll also be excited. He just needs to get out there and get a good couple of early touches. Let's hope he does well. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Still could be dangerous. And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Chance to cross. Has a go. And a goal. Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, here you can see it again. He's gone for placement over power. And it's a brilliant finish. Bagger. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. They stopped them in their tracks. Oh, it's cheeky. Well, sadly for him, chipping it over the top. Well, that's a waste of a good opening. That's a really poor attempt. Jordan. What to like about that pass. Very quick thinking there. Breaking at pace. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly read. Curtis Jones. Wonderful block. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. 
Well, as you can see, that's a great half volley. He controls it so well. That could have gone anywhere. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. And unable to pick out a teammate. Institution. Andrew Robertson. Ten minutes to go then. On to Jordan. Now Mo Salah. Salah. Opportunity. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Well, nearly at full time, not quite. And it's all going Liverpool's way, Stuart. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. But the danger averted for now. Five minutes left. Jota. Blocking it. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. And the referee says that is all for today. Well, his senior debut in the history books. What did you think of his performance? Well, he certainly hit the ground running on the score sheet and a good performance. The fans have taken to him straight away here. The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a brave person indeed to predict the... starts with Lorenzo Pellegrini in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Very quick thinking there. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback position. Osmoon. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Sardar Osmoon. Celic. He could pick out a teammate. Can they forge ahead? It could be up for grabs. Well, that's a sad end to the attack. A delivery from Salah here. Oh, moving it nicely. Can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question. Is this the moment? And touched onto the frame of the goal. And with that, the referee brings this match to an end. Both sides have their moments over the course of the 90 minutes, but it finishes in a stalemate. Stuart, what did you make of it all? Well, yes, Derek, probably not the best game. I don't think either team played to their full potential. The final ball was often lacking, and the chances they did create, they were unable to take advantage of. A bit disappointing, really, as I was expecting more. Colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high level sides go head to head and toe to toe? This is football out of the very top draw. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And this is how Atletico will line up. 
Jan Oblak stands between the posts. As Pili Cueta starts with Jose Maria Jimenez in the centre of defence. Saul starts alongside Marcos Llorente in the centre of the park. And up front, Angel Correa plays alongside Antoine Griezmann. Fine ball from Antoine Griezmann. Jordan Wataru Endo showing real patience can they forge ahead I think I spoke too soon 15 minutes left for play it's a good Liverpool move in the making and options in the centre Jota in position and the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger and that will be all for this game anyway no goals to report defences on top and Stuart as ever interested to get your take well Derek I think it was a good tactical battle there was a lot of endeavour some good defending but not enough attacking quality and that's why we didn't get any goals Football has the power to enthrall, to captivate, and this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. So much riding on this, and an atmosphere to match the mood. Ideal weather conditions for football here in West London, we're at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it is a day of renewal, the first game of the Premier League season. Always something to look forward to. It, well, there was impending danger, but good defending. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? Well, Christopher Nkunku, the sort of player who just gets better and better and so difficult to play against. Stuart, how might he influence this game? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Disappointing for Liverpool to give it away like that. Well, it was a good looking sequence but it comes to an end Grafenberg Endo here's Jordan Alexis McAllister Van Dijk with it Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. Could be dangerous. He just needs to keep a cool head. And a goal, courtesy of Mohamed Salah. His side in front to their delight.
Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And Salah does the rest. He strikes it so cleanly, he hits it with power and accuracy. There was no stopping that. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. Credit is due for that good piece of defending. Oh, tremendous vision. Having to shoot. Wonderful block. Making a bit of headway. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, the action underway again. Chelsea trailing going into the second half. Can they come up with the right response? On to Jordan. Just to bring that attack to an end. Andrew Robertson. Virgil van Dijk. McAllister. He's in position. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Liverpool in a position of menace. In position. And the keeper really reacted brilliantly. Well, from that sort of range, it's a great save, I have to say. Liverpool facing Bournemouth. And showing fine vision. Great opportunity. And a really good diving stop. So Bosloy, effective challenge. Kukureya. But he keeps going. Pulls it back. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Good visualization and execution. Well, failure to keep the ball by Liverpool. Thiago Silva not given a moment's peace. And the shot. And that's a straightforward stop. Invitation to have them come at them. McAllister. And nicely over the top. Will it be? Not over the woods yet. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing well when you see this again I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky he makes a good initial save but the ball comes off of him rebounds straight to an attacker and the finish is excellent And they will make the change now. The day is here. The match everyone has been talking about and with good reason. Two teams of strong pedigree, rich in talent, on the cusp of going head-to-head -head in a highly significant confrontation with so much to play for. How will it pan out? Hello everyone, Anfield looking radiant today, the sun shining brightly. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide... So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack.
And I understand there's been a goal in the Fulham match, and Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for Brentford. It's now 1-0 with 27 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And passing it through. Salah! And saved by the keeper. Getting the better of his opponent. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop. Teammates available. Real chance. And there it is. The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Well, Derek, it's another good display by them. On the evidence of the first couple of matches, they look a very good team. And a backdrop to match what is a special occasion. The fans have this one circled on their calendars long ago. And now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Top players, big characters on the big stage. A highly exciting prospect. Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're here at St James's Park. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray. And my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson. He'd be hard to beat today. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And here's the Newcastle formation. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Can he finish this? And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. He's driven in the corner. And the problem not completely solved. And what a magical save it was! Well, he's frustrated, of course, but he knows they're now making chances. Played over. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? With the owner of a silver hatchback... Well, a victory for Liverpool in the last game against Bournemouth. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Yes, I thought it's a good one. They'll win in front of their own fans. Today, I'm expecting a similar outcome because they have that little bit of extra quality. It will be tight, though. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Black. Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Incisive pass. Just needs to stay calm. And keeping it out. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Might really be able to trouble them here. Under pressure, can he do it? Terrific block there. Target. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Not a touch off the defender, last of all, so a corner. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Can someone get on the end of this? Not away completely.
and defensive play to be applauded still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead now perhaps they can counter from here oh good vision keeper did his job to begin with and space for Liverpool in the wide position Salah can he get the shot off Isaac who can he pick out and clears his lines and no more time left that will conclude the first half here at St James's Park so the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway and a tidy tackle Almiron Here's Almiron. How about the cross? Can he create an angle? Liverpool have given it away. Liverpool doing well to win back possession. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. But they dealt with the threat first. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Liverpool facing Aston Villa. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. And it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Almiron. And in a perfect position to cut it out. Encouraging move from Liverpool. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Well, he's admonished him rather than cautioning him. Well, spot on from the referee. He's made it clear. Another foul and he will get a yellow card. And no problems at all for the keeper. He's playing their part. There's probably going to be one more big chance coming their way, but can they take it? Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Could be dangerous. Real defensive resilience. Just can't get it past them. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Could still be dangerous. Matip. Van Dijk. Well, he tried to put everything into the shot, but couldn't find the target. And that is that, a point apiece. They cannot be separated. From the Liverpool point of view, what did you make of it? Well, they did okay today, but they need to start playing with a bit more energy. It's not been a great start to the season for them. Can't stop.